young guy in my 20s to live in a Kansas City. I would uh, buy a bunch of ground beef and make it up into patties ahead of time, freeze them. And then when I would leave for work in the morning, I'd take one out and put it in the fridge. And then I would get home, put it in the frying pan, jump in the shower, flip it over, throw some vegetables in a pan, and eat dinner standing up over the kitchen sink. And then I would go out and close down the bars at 2 in the morning, get ready to go to back to work the next day. And I would do that over and over again. But, you know, that, that's the way of burning the candle at both, the, both ends and in the middle, too. Can't do that anymore. Work it like that, and you would go and wind up a whole reel of film in, into the into the uh, uh, reel, and then dunk it down into the developer and the mixer, and then uh, you get negatives, and then hang them up on little close pins and dry out. I mean, that stuff is arcane now. I mean, <laughs> Ansel Adams material. Yeah, the dark room was always uh, where you take, uh, uh, when I worked at the newspaper, you would bring your girlfriend in, and then you would always drag her into the dark room and try to make passion love with her. Or she, no, 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 no. You can always turn on the safe light, you know. And, uh, <laughs> you can make light, make love in, in dark, uh, in red light, you know. And, uh, well, like, like I thought it was a good idea. That was the I safe did, sex in the dark room. It, it turned on the safe light, right? Yeah. Well, you could never. And it's, it's a, it's a and common, exactly it's common knowledge that you cannot ever get any kind of disease from a pretty woman. I, mean, it's a I see you have T-shirts for sale here. Uh, T-shirts next door. Were any of these T-shirts made in countries? that don't have free health care? They were all made in countries without health care. Especially chosen. Louisiana. Especially chosen. Remember, you let your girlfriends in free. Uh, no, actually, I paid for them. All of them. Cost me 500 bucks, but, you know, it was worth it. We're doing fine, enjoying the day, beautiful oh, yeah. weather. Good thing for the charity and good thing for friendship. Oh, yes. Having some good folks around. Does it go to the burn children this time? It goes, it goes to the um, Make-A-Wish Foundation. Make-A-Wish Foundation. Okay. Which is uh, one of the best charities yeah, around. Yeah. Happy birthday, Sam. Thank you, thank you. What, what words do you have for us on your birthday? Don't have any more. Well, I'm one of the original members. Uh, this is me on the T-shirt. And uh, there's five original Montreal Spear and Gun Club members. So I've been at the uh, cook-off every, every year except one when I was in the hospital. And they gave me a, a special dispensation so I was able to not be allowed to come. I don't have a title. I, I just, uh, I just uh, bowl around my place and I don't cook. So I usually drink beer. Now I don't drink beer anymore. So I just have to make a nuisance of myself in any other way I can. I have to be here every year or else they will have to hire somebody to be a sub for me and they'll have to hire two people.